My name is Anthony Odongokelo, commonly known as Giggs. I'm the General Secretary for Lira District Football Association. I'm representing FOFA in Lira here. Uh, we are happy that we have brought to the championship. This is the fourth edition. The first edition was played in 2018, where this school ideal emerged as a champion. This is the second time they are victorious. Uh, the championship was introduced by FOFA after seeing ball games in secondary school going, I mean primary school going low. They have come to tough talents under the age of 14. That's why they call under 14 championship. Our basic aim is to promote a good team to the national team by building a good foundation from the grassroots. Uh, we, have, we have played a district meet. We are going to have a regional meet for the northern region, which will be in Kole on the 13th of this month. And on that, on the, on the 30th, we shall have a, a national meet at the Fofa Technical Center in Jiro in Jinja, Buikwe district. Now, Fofa has brought this one to promote schools, not only in academically, because there are some other kids who are talented in what? In sports other than class. So we are trying to build a foundation which makes Uganda Queens a team for whole. People have been complaining the Queens are only for people who are in the central. But now this time, we want Queens to be the team for everyone in the whole country. That's why we are starting to bring a grassroots talent from the ground. I'm really happy for the Federation itself because of what they have done by promoting this talent around. We are really, really, I really appreciate them. I really appreciate Northern Region Football Association for the initiative they have done to unite all the regions of Northern together by performing and playing this championship. My name is Tumina Oscar I am a player of Adial Primary School. Um, I am the captain of the team. And I want to tell those one outside there always to add on their skills that they have. Because in football, you, you just need to motivate yourself. Yeah, my, my name is uh, Joshua Adair. Yeah. The chairman to Gazelle's Corporate Club, uh, promoting sports in Lira City. At the same time, Lango Sub Region. We use sports to inspire, engage, and transform the lives of children, youth, and corporates in the region. And it's a process, but it's always been hectic, but we do manage it slowly by slowly. And we hope in the next coming future, we will have the best out of us in the city and Lang sub region at large. It's not easy, but we're managing it slowly by slowly. We also want to thank uh, DL Boarding for giving us a home. It's our home place where we train from, nature our kids from, and then give them education from. At the same time, mentorship and character classes. We do hold them all that. Every kid that would be performing well, we give them a goat so that they start their life from there. And then two or three years, this would be like a motivating factor to them. And I really appreciate that. But they are very honest with us in whatever they are doing. So I want to thank the Federation of Uganda Football Association, standing with us in all everything. We, are, we do get it that they have been supporting us. And the support is tremendous, and I really appreciate the president himself, Magogo. They're doing a lot of work. I also want to thank the Fufa XCOM in the region. Dan Obote, you're doing a tremendous job. I've consulted you very many times, and you've given guidance, and it has been a success. All in all, I want to thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm called Okuhutom, a teacher at Dial Primary School. I hold the position of game and sports. Actually, I'm very happy today for the FUFA to come and hand over the trophy, which are ideal, uh, a merge winner of the 2023 champion at the city or district level. Above all, I want to thank the head teacher for supporting us in all the ways. At the same time, I also want to uh, thank Joseph, our coach, who always uh, coach our children and making sure that uh, we do our best. I request my team, uh, children, the footballers, to continue working very hard. My name is Isaac Otoa, the head teacher of the Bolin Primary School. I'm really happy for FUFA 
organizing this tournament and also making sure that they make the talents of the children to grow. Uh, this is the first, uh, this is the second trophy that we are winning and we are really very grateful for this kind of arrangement. We also want to thank the entire team that came and then competed here in Adir Bodin Primary School. And much as they did not emerge victorious, but without them, we wouldn't have gone this far. We want to pledge that we shall continue with the regional tournament, which is to take place, I think, in Otinawa. And uh, if we emerge victorious, we shall still continue to ensure that we take them to the nationals. We do not want the talent of the children to remain dormant, we want it to be active. We want also to thank our coach for ensuring that he tries to drill these children in the best way possible that make them become champions. Um, it is important for us to promote sports. My message to the entire schools within Laos region is that as a teachers we need to promote sports in schools and this is one of the ways in which we promote the talent of the learners and when we continue promoting sports in schools that means we are grooming the future footballers who will be representing Uganda at various levels and also this will become their career so I want to encourage all the eight teachers that it's important to participate in this kind of game. Thank you. The total uh, enrollment of this school is about 1,500 learners. That is in primary section and we have about 250 in nursery section. Now, my humble request to all the learners is, you have seen us becoming always victorious by being champions in Odilo. Uh, last time we were champions in, uh, you see those trophies up there. You see that we are not only doing well in academics, but we are also promoting sports. I want to encourage our community members who give us the children that it is important for us to continue encouraging our children to participate in sports. I uh, think when I had a meeting with Primary 6, the, one of the parents said, much as the child plays so well, but he thinks that maybe this will retard academic performance in class. We give specific time for them to go for games and sports, and when it is time for classes, they are ever busy in class. So I want to encourage the community members that encourage your children to participate in this kind of, or in, the, in the sporting activities. This will make the children to continue growing up with these talents. And also, please, when this kind of game is there, let us come and moral boost the children. Eh? Our moral boosting will also make them to play very actively. And uh, so, I also want to encourage the teachers that it is important for you to ensure that when you identify a talent in a child, ensure that that talent is developed.